What is up? It is a gang, yes sir. Now y'all boys, Pixel Piece has finally released. Long awaited, finally. And there's been a quite a little bit of hiccups going on since the release. There's been hackers spawning in fruits for everyone and things of that nature. It's been terrible. But I'm here today to give you guys oh, 28 yeah. things you probably didn't know about Pixel Piece that you need to know about Pixel Piece. Let's get straight into this one because it's a lot. Each island has two poses. The pose for the island that you are on and the pose for the next island you need to go to. Every island has a parrot that can be used to set the spawn for that island. When you open the game menu and enter the shop, you can buy times 2 EXP, times 2 mastery and SP resets if you scroll down. To equip items, make sure that the item you want is on the left hand side of the bag. Every level, your base stamina and health will go up. You spawn in the game with a random race. You can give game passes and EXP boost to players and friends. Talk to the sailor man by the docks of every island to spawn your boat in, but it needs to be equipped. Shops at different islands have different items, swords, boats, etc. So be sure to check for them. Every boss after the spawn island drops weapons that have skills. Mobs at Orange Town dropped a collectible enchanted sword that has high base damage. Here's what the sword looks like. Fruit spawns show the exact location of the fruit until it gets picked up, so you're gonna know if someone has stolen your fruit. Mobs have a chance to drop different items and accessories when you defeat them. Equip accessories at the barbershop each town has. Each town has a barbershop, except for the spawn island, and you can customize your character there. You can toggle PvP on in the overworld, but both players need to have PvP on in order to actually fight each other. One sword style costs 1.6k belly. Black leg costs 1.5 belly, but then they ask for 4.5k. Buggy boss cannot be defeated with swords. Hockey costs 5k belly. You can trade in the trade hub. You are able to PvP within the hub world too. Ranked 1v1s puts you on the leaderboard in order for you to obtain a Yoru at the end of every week. You can't get Yoru this week, and that's only because the game just came out. So if you're grinding rank right now, there's kind of no point. Yoru will have its own sword style slash skill set in the future, so make sure you try get one. You can enter codes on the cog screen and go back to the main menu from there too. Hidden way to obtain fruit is the fruit dealer island.
on the fruit dealer island you are able to buy fruits with in-game money and robux so make sure you go there prepared of course uh it's not as much obviously cry cry okay and then this is even cheaper smooth smooth okay okay so these are very easy to buy yeah i i assume suke is oh, okay yeah these fruits are very easy to buy and yeah that's how you get devil fruits by the way you can also get devil fruits from from finding them under trees um they spawn in a private server thank you for tuning in guys if you made it to the end be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new i appreciate everyone that made it to the end of this video i will be streaming shortly so make sure you have the post notification on so you know when i start streaming we're going to be grinding some more pixel piece we have a lot to do this stream so please make sure you tune in because we're going crazy again